Today, President Xi and I agreed to expand our cooperation between our two nations. Uh, I know that some in both countries and around the world question whether we can sustain the cooperation that we need and the world needs. I think we can draw encouragement from the ties that have long connected our peoples. I think of the American airmen during uh, the Second World War who went down over China. Chinese villagers sheltered them, fed them, clothed them, and treated their wounds. And decades later, one Chinese man said of the American he saved, he is like the thumb on the hand, and I am like the finger. We are brothers together. I think of the ties that are forged every single day and that we've worked to expand in our work today. American tourists in China visiting the Forbidden City and the Great Wall, Chinese tourists visiting our Statue of Liberty and Independence Hall, our students who cross the Pacific to learn from each other, our scientists who discover new treatments together, our health workers who fought Ebola together. There will be times where there are differences between our two countries. Uh, that's inevitable. There will be times where our interests entirely overlap. But what I think will be sustaining is the friendship between our peoples, the foundation of the ties between our nations. And just as you say in China that a sea accepts 100 rivers, our country together are stronger as when we accept the diversity and the views and contributions and uphold the rights of all of our peoples. And so I propose a toast to the people of China and the people of the United States. May they work together like fingers on the same hand in friendship and in peace. Xi Jushi, Huan Ying, Lidao, Washington, D.C. Junin Fan Wing Chung Gong.